Namaskar and very good afternoon dear students. I am Kusum Prasad and you all are watching us on e Vidya channel number 9. And today is English session for class 9 students and today's topic is wind understanding and appreciating the poem. And to teach this subject to uh, explain about this chapter our today's expert is Dr. Sayyada Ayman Hashmi ma'am. Welcome ma'am. Bahut bahut swagat. Namaskar. Thank you for inviting me for such a wonderful session. And Welcome, I believe that my viewers are really going to be benefited with this session. So as ma'am has said, I am Dr. Sayyad Ayman Hashmi, PGT of English. Yes. So without wasting much time, yes, let's start today's session. Yes ma'am. Ma'am is PGT English from Kendri Vidyale and Dues Ganj. And dear students and learners, uh, we want to uh, tell you about the various medium. You can contact us. You can call us on our phone number that is 8800-440-559. And you can also email us on our email ID that is dth.class9 at the rate ciet.nic.in. Dear students and learners, we are conducting this session as a part of Jan Bhagidari or People's Participation for G20 Initiative. We are proud that India assumed the G20 presidency and will convene the G20 Leaders Summit for the first time in the country in G 2023. A nation deeply committed to democracy and multilateralism, India G20 presidency would be a watershed moment in our history as it seeks to play a very important role by finding pragmatic global solution for the well-being of all and in doing so manifest the true spirit of Vasudhev Kutumbakam or the world is one family. Now we move to our session and uh, our, as I earlier told you that our today's session is for English and for class 9 students and the chapter is wind understanding and appreciating the poem. So we move to our expert ma'am let's begin the session. Yeah let's start. So dear learners before we start today's lesson it's very important to know what actually you are going to learn in the session fine. Right? So by the end of the session the learners means viewers you will be able to paraphrase the poem wind by Subramanya Bharati fine. Right? You will be able to identify the figure of a speech used in the poem. You will be able to justify the title of the poem and analyze the important phrases in the poem. So let's start. Yes, ma'am. So before again we discuss about the poem, here is the representation of your learning experiences. What your type of experiences you will have in today's session? So you will have acquisition by reading, watching, and listening, investigation, discussion, and practice. Investigation will not be there, but yes, acquisition discussion and practice will be there. So, let us start. Yes, before we delve into the poem, let us learn something about the poet Chinna Swami Subramanya Bharti. So, he is well known as, uh, he is very much known as Bharthiyar. He was born on 11th December 1882 and died on 12th September 1921. He was a Tamil writer, poet, journalist, Indian independence activist and social reformer from Tamil Nadu. He was popularly known as Mahakavi Bharati. He was a pioneer of modern Tamil poetry and is considered one of the greatest Tamil literary figures of all times. Yes ma'am. Uh Ma'am, the poem is uh, written in originally in Tamil, but mm -hmm. who has translated it, ma'am? A very well asked question. Yes, that's wonderful. So, Mr. The, the well-known poet A.K. Ramanujam has actually translated this poem from Tamil to English. Okay, ma'am. So, ma'am, what else Subramanyam Bharti famous for, ma'am? Yes, Subramanyam Bharti is also famous for his patriotism in the pre-independence era as you have seen here that he was Indian independence activist. So this is uh, yes Subramaniam is famous for this also his patriotism mm -hmm. love for the country. Okay. So now uh, let us move to the poem. Yeah sure. Wind. 
So, here is the poem Wind for you. Let us first of all read it. Wind comes softly. Do not break the shutters of the windows. Do not scatter the papers. Do not throw down the books on the shelf. There, look what you did. You threw, threw them all down. You tore the pages of the books. You brought rain again. You are very clever at poking fun at weaklings. Frail crumbling houses, crumbling doors, crumbling rafters, crumbling wood, crumbling bodies, crumbling lives, crumbling hearts. The wind got windows and crushes them all. He won't do what you tell him. So come, let's build strong homes. Let's join the doors family. Practice to form the body. Make the heart steadfast. Do this and the wind will be friends with us. The wind blows out weak fires. He makes strong fires roar and flourish. His friendship is good. We praise him every day. So, this was how the poem is to be recited. Shall we read it once again? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Wind comes softly. Don't break the shutters of the windows. Don't scatter the papers. Don't throw down the books on the shelf. There, look what you did. You threw them all down. You tore the pages of the books. You brought rain again. You are very clever at poking fun at weaklings. Frail crumbling houses, crumbling doors, crumbling rafters, crumbling wood, crumbling bodies, crumbling lives, crumbling hearts. The wind goat winnows and crushes them all. He won't do what you tell him. So come, let's build strong homes. Let's join the doors family. Practice to form the body. Make the heart steadfast. Do this and the wind will be friends with us. The wind blows out weak fires. He makes strong fires roar and our flourish. His friendship is good. We praise him every day. Very beautiful, ma'am. Very beautiful written by the poet, ma'am. Yeah, wonderfully written. So, now see, let us discuss uh, line 1 to 8 of the poem first of all. So, yes, you see here, wind comes softly, do not break the shutters of the windows, do not scatter the papers, do not throw down the books on the shelf there. Look what you did, you threw them all down, you tore the pages of the books. You brought rain again. You are very clever at poking fun at wakelings. So, let us see the meaning of some phrases and words like poking fun. It means making fun of something. Fine and weaklings very important. It means a person who is weak. To understand these lines better, let us discuss some of the questions. So, with whom was the poet talking? The way the poem is read, it is clear that the poet is talking to the wind, right? What does he request from the wind? You see here. He requests do not break the shutters of the windows. Yeah, right. So, you and got it. do not scatter the papers. Hmm. Do not throw down the books on the shelf. Yeah. And you see. On these are the requests made by the poet to the wind. But yes, see what next. How could you say that the wind is very destructive? So, could you find out something which is destructive? Yes, you see very well break, yes, well, scratter, uh -huh. throw. Yeah. Look what you did, you threw them, threw them all, then tore the pages brought rain again. 
Windows and also, very, yeah, making very strong. Mm -hmm. He he can uh, shatter the uh, uh, shutters of the windows. He can scatter the papers. Everything. Yeah. Yeah. Even mocking fun, poking mm -hmm. fun at uh, weaklings, and mocking even at weak rain. people. This is also mm -hmm. a negative thing, a destructive thing, right? So, next, yeah. So, how could you say that the wind is very destructive? So it's very, very clear from these lines. What does the poet describe here? What does the poet describe here? What do you think that is here? So, yes, from the line 1 to line 8, we all see the destruction done by the wind. Hmm. Nothing constructive is here, all the destruction is there, right? Yes, ma'am. Fine. So, next is, uh, who are scared of the wind? Yes, the answer is very simple. I believe my viewers have found it out. Yes, the last line, poking fun at winkling. So, hmm. obviously, those who are weak, they must be scared of wind, right? Yes. And who is making fun of the weaklings? Very simple, it's now uh, this wind only hmm. which is making fun of the weaklings. Let's move ahead. Next four lines. Frail crumbling houses, crumbling doors, crumbling rafters, crumbling wood, crumbling bodies, crumbling lives, crumbling hearts, the wind goes, we know and crushes them all. So, let us understand first of all the difficult or new words so, to understand, to comprehend these lines better. So, first word is frail which means weak, crumbling, falling or causing something to break, rafter, it is a sloping beam which supports the roof of the building. So, I believe this everybody has seen that slope with, of the beam, the beam which supports the roof that is rafter. We knows Yes, it is an activity to break grain free of chaff, separate grain from husk by blowing on it. You can see the image here also and one image is there in the, in the textbook of NCRT also. So, to understand these lines, yes. How many times is the word crumbling repeated and why? So, you can see that 1, 2, 3, 1, this 3, three in the first and, line, yeah. then three, and 3 times in the second, second line and third line uh, there is uh, 1. So, uh, all together 7 times. Hmm. 7 time repetition of the same word crumbling and crumbling you know falling or causing something to break a negative word. So, this word crumbling is repeated again and again and again just to emphasize the destructive effect of wind. Fine. So, this is the reason that this crumbling word is mentioned seven times here. What crumbles under the power of the wind? And yes, in the line it is very clear. It, it crumbles houses, it crumbles doors, it crumbles rafters, it crumbles wood, it crumbles bodies, lives and also hearts means everything crumbled yeah and the effect of wind yes and in line number 12 also you see the wind got we know that crushes it's them all. also crushes also means almost the same so it's hmm. crushes but what is are these them that we will discuss why is the wind addressed as god this is a wonderful question you know the the poet writes this is the wind god hmm. the poet writes wind god so, wind God, see you know God is omnipotent, all powerful, he has power to do anything, fine. So, wind here is also powerful in destroying the things away, right. So, it, what is it actually doing, uh, like you know, uh, what we know does, means what, why, why this particular word we know is used here, we know is just simply an activity of separating grain from husk, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, the, God, the God we know that crushes them all here actually means that this wind, it, it simply separates, segregates the strong people from the weak people, like from this strong souls, so uh, means weak souls from these strong souls. So, like we know, we know it simply uh, separates the husk, husk which is a light hmm. one you can say weak, hmm. husk is weak. 
and and, and the grain you know they are heavy strong hmm. so the it separates the 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 strong from the weak and it crushes them all yes crushes all the weak hmm. fine so it's simply the survival thing who survives <laughs> Yes, so why is the wind addressed as God? So we got the answer. Yes, we discussed it here. Yes, God, this wind is powerful and it separates the weak from the strong. What does the wind God do? We have just discussed. Yes, it separates the, sh uh, the shaft from the grain or symbolically you say you can say the weak from the strong. strong. What is the significance of the word we know here? I think now by this time my uh, viewers, our viewers have got the answer because we have discussed this answer nicely here. Fine. So let us read these lines once again. Frail crumbling houses, crumbling doors, crumbling rafters, crumbling wood, crumbling bodies, crumbling lives, crumbling hearts. The wind god winnows and crushes them all. Let us go ahead. Yes ma'am. So by this time till one line number one to line number 12 is clear I believe. Yes. Now let us move ahead. He won't do what you tell him. So come let us build strong homes. Let us join the doors family. Practice to form the body. Make the heart steadfast. Do this and the wind will be friends with us. The wind blows out to weak fires. He makes strong fires roar and flourish. His friendship is good. We praise him every day. So wonderful. So see here, what does a poet wish the people to do? So in these lines, as I have read just now, the, by this time the thing is clear that wind is not that bad all the time. Hmm. So yes, yeah, so what he urges the people? So the poet urges the people, number one, to build strong, strong homes. homes. Number two, to have the form doors. Hmm. Then not only doors, but also the body. And yes, not only the body, but also the heart. heart. So he is actually uh, wanting his readers to be strong, not only physically, but also mentally. Yes, exactly. So, a firm body and steadfast heart. So, these mm. two uh, phrases clearly points out that poets wants us to be uh, not only physically strong, but also mentally strong. mentally strong in order to face the wind. Yes. So, yes, what does the wind symbolize here? This is wonderful. So, I yes. think uh, the Can you guess? symbolizes of the problems oh, wonderful. in daily uh, human uh, life, I think. Yes, absolutely. The adversities and also the challenges in our life. Wind symbolizes, see, he wants to what you tell them. It means like if whatever you tell these, uh, nobody wishes to be in problem, nobody mm. wishes to be in tension. Then what happens actually? It happens that they come on their own, they do not listen. Mm. But if you are weak, you cannot stand the adversities and the challenges in your life. But if you are strong, what kind of strength is needed? It is not only the physical strength, but also the mental strength is needed to face these adversities and the challenges in life. So this is a wonderful message and uh, the what poet wants his readers to do. So, what does the wind symbolize here? Yes, the adversities and the challenges in our life. Now, next question. What advice does the poet give to people to face the wind? Yes. So, we have seen that these are the advices the, the, the poet has given to his readers to build small strong homes, have firm doors, and indirectly he is pointing out, indirectly also he is pointing mm. out, form the body, keep your body strong, be physically strong, have a steadfast heart, means have a, have a heart with a strong will, with, with, which you are not scared at every time. You have, must have the boldness to face the adversities of your life. Mm. And the then poet, what will happen? Yeah. The poet want to say that the wind will come. The problems will come, but yes, you, you uh, have to face it strongly, exactly. and, uh, mentally and physically. Wonderful, that is right. 
And yes, what will happen? If you have a steadfast heart and a firm body, then what will happen? Do this. Hmm. And the wind will be friends with us. Means no longer the wind will be troubling you then, it hmm. will be friends with you. And the wind blows out weak fires, wonderful lines. See, wind will miss those who are weak, weak. they will be easily blown off with in the adversit in the mm. adversities and the challenges they won't be able to face the challenges and the and the adversities of the life exactly. then if you are strong mentally and physically then what will happen these adversities because wind symbolizes adversities these mm. adversities adver adversities will make you strong why because wind blows out only the weak, weak fires, fires but the one who is strong it will let it roar and, and flourish, flourish means you will grow a better person uh, every time so it's not like that wind is that bad adversities are those bad it, they are only a test for you hmm. they are only a test for you and you have to be prepared to face these these, these adversities and the challenges in your life his friendship is good wonderful line hmm. so it, it, there is no person in this world with, who has no problems or the challenges in life so the best thing is that to prepare ourselves and once you prepare yourself to face the adversities and the challenges in your life, the, the friendship of such challenges will be good for you because it will turn you, it will make you, you know, uh, a better person every time. And we the last praise. line is also very uh, beautiful, very um, encouraging. We praise uh, every day. Yes, we, we praise him every day. We praise yeah. these adversities, adver adversities, these challenges every yeah. day. Yes, because they are actually the one who make us a new person every time, uh, um, a more experienced one. <laughs> very beautiful session and very motivating this uh, title is. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you for coming in and today and explaining this uh, chapter to our students and learners, ma'am. Thank you again. Thank you. Namaskar. And dear students and learners, uh, NCRT textbooks for 2023-24 are available throughout the country and these textbooks may be purchased directly from the NCRT sale counters located at New Delhi, Ahmedabad, Bengaluru, Kolkata and Guwahati. And these sale counters will be functional on all the weekdays included gazetted holidays, Saturdays, Sundays from 9.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. And you may also place order for the books online from our website NCRT books ncrt.gov.in and these books will be delivered at your doorstep without any delivery charges. And if you want the soft copy of the books in PDF version, you can also download it for free from NCRT Diksha e Parshala website and mobile app. So dear students and learners, please visit the website ncrt.nic.in to know more about the authorized vendor. So it's time to wind up the session and uh, stay connected to eVidya channel. Thank you and Namaskar.